Steve. Hello, Steve. Steve is uh, here. Um, hey, Steve. Hi, welcome. So that's not working. Why is that not working? And Shafir is here, but I haven't heard her voice. Hello. Hello. She did say hey when she came on, but I think yeah. we were all talking. I know. It's weird to I'm bad. Well, we didn't want to say. Uh, I'm 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 really quiet. Uh I'm very shy. She is. Then we'll just have to pick on you more. Yeah. But first two weeks we went out, she hardly said out to me. Oh, now I can't shut her up. Oh, really? But Sometimes. did you think she was playing hard to get? I thought she an... was mute at one point. Or an air of mystery? <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, well. Well, we have got, well, we've got a pint in front of us, and we've also got some wine, so it's possible. I've got a little bourbon in my drink. Hey! And a liter of water for a chaser. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some dihydrogen monoxide. If anything untoward happens during the uh, course of the session, I apologise profusely. What? There's going to be a <laughs> lot of dihydrogen monoxide in this in this uh, quest, this first quest. It's it's deadly stuff. In excess, anyway. No worries, you can swim. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, I had to Google that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I, well, you see, my int of eight is coming in handy. <laughs> I love how you put unarmed strike on my sheet, like with an AC of nine, I'm going to actually get up and frontline anything. Yeah, I mean, who knows what's going to happen, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified at the idea of starting with no equipment. It really affects how my character plays. Which is the exact opposite of the conversation Bonnie and I had. I was like, oh yeah, I'm fine. That doesn't affect me at all. You you, you, you said the bank. Because I was like, you know, I hope I like don't freak anybody out or like make them really upset because we aren't going to start out with the things that they have lovingly picked out for their character. Yeah, I lose one point of AC. Yay! <laughs> oh, did I, not, did I not yeah. mention that part? <laughs> That when you don't have armor, some, somehow your 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 dex modifier takes effect, and uh, you can have less than ten AC. Well, no, well, my dex modifier takes effect anyway. It, it's it becomes ten with armor. Oh, that's <laughs> true. I, I'm just planning on putting Steve in a large barrel. That'll solve all the problems. He can pop out the legs, and he can wander around with a barrel on. You, you <laughs> gotta get to the barrel. Roll him at the bad guys. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have played Claw Pong. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the lesson of this experience? It may have been the Claw Pong. It may have been something nefarious. I mean, there's strange things afoot in Salt Marsh. All I'm going to say is, don't give me a body and an hour. Otherwise, you're all going to be grimmed out, but you will have armor at that point. <laughs> nice. <laughs> doesn't say what kind of thing I have to have to turn it into shields and weapons. I don't think you're going to have an hour. No. It's best you don't give me an hour. Well, it does fit the tribal warrior motif very much. Yep. Is everybody, uh, if not emotionally ready, uh, physically ready <laughs> to start? Steve is well, ready. Yeah, I've got things turned on, so I'm guessing that means I'm ready. Because everybody seems to be in the game, and it doesn't seem to make sense to make you guys sit around for nine minutes. So we start, like, right on the hour. It's not really that important if we're not streaming. If you're all here, we might as well get started. And okay. I'm hoping we'll finish the first adventure in two hours, but we shall see. Okay, cool. Good luck. Oh, guys, I'm fist bumping all of you. <laughs> so the first thing you should all do is is uh, roll a d20 in the tower. Oh, I've lost 
Why is my tower gone away again? Um, you can oh. always move it back. No, it's it's actually oh, it's. Right, does that mean I can't see it if I've rolled it? Yeah, that's the rolling in the towers means I see what you rolled, but uh, you don't get to see. Right. Okay. And what's amazing is the consistency that with which you guys are rolling. <laughs> All ones. <laughs> now, three of you did roll the same number. It's crazy. Uh, it's probably best to get them all out of the way first, Drew. Really. Oh, I know why. Because bloody Fantasy Grounds doesn't. Sorry, Fantasy Grounds doesn't remember how you set up last time. So when you start a new session, right. it, it resets everything. We can move it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move. I, I am going to install a mod eventually. <laughs> There's a, there's a mod that fixes everything in place and stops it moving around. Ooh, could you could you post that in the channel when you get it? I'd have to find it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm no rush. Uh, it just might be handy. That's all. Uh... Honestly, no rush. Don't do it now. Just just as and when no, you no, find no, no, it. No, 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 no. Oh no, I'll forget. Otherwise, I've got a, I've got a brain of goldfish. Um... <laughs> okay. That must be fun for your wife. <laughs> but you have no idea. <laughs> Ooh, a castle. Uh, it's over there by that bus. What Ooh, bus? A bus. So because Steve and Shafira both rolled well on their karma roll, they both get to start with one thing. <laughs> like how Steve gets ball. a ping pong ball. <laughs> Uh, well, to be fair, if you look through my inventory list, that's about the only thing that would be copyable, except for actually giving me a weapon. Right, yeah. Enough. Yeah. yeah I don't kinda, have a whole lot of gear. It's kind of like, I debated, like, do, do we leave anything on anybody's? And I, like, look at, like, Justice's inventory, and I'm like, pretty much everything's a weapon. <laughs> I, can, I could have given him a flag, I guess. But, but my sparkly dust? Yeah. I wonder what happened to that. Oh, no. <laughs> She's going to threaten me with it. I wonder if you will ever see it again. I suspect it will be no big loss if I don't. So the next thing I want you to do, and you don't, you don't have to do this in the tower, is I want everyone to roll a constitution save. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Sorry, is it the dice on the abilities or the dice on the saves? Uh, the saves. Right, I did the wrong one. That one I just did. There we go. Should have stuck with the check. Yeah. It was the wrong <laughs> ability, too. Don't worry, there will be more. I just got giddy. Clicked on some. You're all unconscious. Most of you are dreaming in some shape or form. Tentacles! Steve is surrounded by an oily ocean of darkness. The sound of the water is muffled, a noxious womb of echoes that remind him of drowning. Tentacles begin to embrace him, welcome and terrifying. Steve cannot speak. Do I find speak. this oddly comforting? Well, this is your dream. You are you are embraced in tentacles in a dark void, and you cannot speak as part of your dream. Well, not self. Different. Don't look at his pants where no everyone wakes up. <laughs> Carathlana is having floaty dreams of bouncing on the waves in the bay, the water rocking her gently. Schools of fish and turtles start by, only pausing to offer her a friendly wave. Aww. A whale swims past, splashes in a circle, and strikes up a conversation. Oh, hello there, Kerthlod. How are you today? Finding Nemo <laughs> sprang into my mind. Totally. I'm, I'm well, thank you. How are you? Finding it a bit dry around my blowhole. I think I might be getting I, barnacles I again. <laughs> you better not stay still too long. You might get barnacles too. 
I will take that under advisement. Thank you. Chimere is in the midst of a recurring nightmare. Surrounded by a crowd of hateful villagers, they snarl epithets against tieflings as they hit and kick at Chimere in a frenzy. Okay. Yes. He tries to defend himself and block their blows, but he cannot move his limbs. Well, that one got dark. <laughs> but I've had dreams like that. Have you had dreams like that? Mm. Well, it was more like dreams like where I wanted to punch somebody, but I couldn't. I've had ones where you can't move. You want to go somewhere and you can't yeah. get there. But because you're dreaming and unconscious, you can't actually get going. Joe's death is in a ceremony at the Bloodroot Lizardfolk colony where he spawned and came of age. Queen Otho Kent speaks of him with favor to those assembled, an unprecedented show of praise. The oldest tribal mystic, Pre's Nonner, steps forward and announces that Jaws Death has proved worthy. He is now a shaman. Nonner stretches out a welcoming claw to join them in their rites. Jaws Death drank claw junk. Alcohol poison. <sighs> Can I sit on the floor and wait? <laughs> You're still, you're still unconscious and dreaming. No, oh, I know. I'm going to sit and wait until I wake up. Shafira, Shafira, it's, it's, it's just, oh. It is poison for softs. Shafira is flying high in the air, high enough that the potholes in the cobblestone road beneath her become tiny specks, and the people resemble ladybirds in a window pane. All it will take for her to soar higher is flapping her hands. And she does, and she rises and rises and rises until she feels lightheaded. Suddenly, Shafir stops ascending and begins to fall. But no matter how fast she flicks her wrists, she, she keeps on falling. She looks into her pockets, and she starts pulling out trinkets and baubles and treasure none of which actually belong to her. And then she starts pulling out throwing daggers. It's like an impossible quantity of daggers to fit into halfling-sized pockets. And the weight of these things are making it impossible for her to fly. I've had that dream. Sounds like a fun dream. Jaws desk comes alert. And... He finds he's pulling taut chains that are binding both his wrists and ankles. The last thing he remembers from the night before is okay. stuffing attached what Attached to and um, well, you're attached. What can I see? Well, is you're it just in the dark? hold of a boat. Uh -huh. You can see vaguely around you. Um, is the boat in motion? The boat seems to be on the sea. Your chains are on your on your wrists. They are bolted into the hold of the ship behind you. They're also the locks are secured with manacles. I mean, not manacles, but the padlock. And then there's also on the manacles that are around your ankles. There's a chain kind of winding in a serpentine fashion um, through the, those chains, securing your feet latching you to the people who are in the row with you and you recognize some of these softs from the night before as the people you mm -hmm. did that stupid claw pong game with okay um and then to your left 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 well to your right there there are a couple doors they look like they're heavy and barred and to your left you see a, a prison cell door with bars and through the bars there is a half orc standing guard the last thing that you remember is stuffing one of those cat stranglers into a bin of fish guts in an alley near the docks so that they would stop making the horrible noises that they were calling music. That sounds about right. And then a net suddenly entangled you from behind and you felt a sharp pain in your skull and, and there it all went black. <sighs> I've forgotten the name of these guys. Um... 
what, what's the name of the 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 the, the whole press gang? Though so this is a different matter. Okay. Um. So there's a bunch of other people. They're all unconscious. Yes. And on that, I want everyone to roll, except for you, Jaws Desk, because you're awake. Everyone else, roll Constitution again. You cut out there, Bonnie. Everyone, roll another Constitution. Jaws Desk doesn't have to because he's awake. Save or check. Oh, save. Um, can I? Because they won't have thought about this because they're soft. Um, can I start slapping people who are still there with the te my tail as quietly as I can? The only one you can reach is Shafira, who's right next to you. Okay. You also she see <laughs> across on the other side, on the port side of the hold, you recognize a Warforged who was on the other side, of who you did the claw pong against. Shirt. Mm hmm. And with your it's... slapping, Shafira comes awake. Um, while I'll try and quietly just test the manacles, if this is a typical hold, they may have not maintained it, and so the, the, there could be rot and things to weaken the things, but I'm not expecting it, but uh, I, I will test away while people are waking up. And Shifira notices that these manacles are not inherently halfling-sized. <laughs> Is... So I can test it and see if I can get my wrist out of it. Uh-huh. And you do have, uh, you feel around. When you wake up, you had one hand in your pocket and the other one is kind of like flapping at your side. And then you kind of start awake. The last thing you remember is uh, you were with Chimera and Chimera had thrown up on some gnome. Lovely. <laughs> and right. you had given the gnome like a gold to kind of cover damages, get get their robe cleaned and everything, but then you like lifted that gold back out of their pocket and then some. And, but none of and you guys had drunk enough claw wine that neither of you had felt very good leaving the docks, and that's all you remember. Um, wait, wait. So she, the, the tiefling threw up on the gnome, and then the halfling made good by the gnome, and then robbed him. Yeah, um, yeah. It was Just it was clarify. pansy. It was pansy. What's her name? Oh, she deserved oh, it. Well, yeah. Oh, paperweight. Yeah, Pansy Paperweight. <laughs> paperweight or whatever her name is. Yeah, it was her. You know, she, she did kind of deserve it. Um, so, like, you woke up and you had a hand in your pocket, and it's empty, but then you feel around a little bit around you, and you discover uh, your tasty bacon is lying beside you. I guess you, like, pulled it out of your pocket while you were dreaming, and you find your thieves' tools. Handy. Um... Oh, so um, uh, can I see Chimera anywhere? Chimera is next Chimera. to you on your left. Um, just desk, do an athletics check to see if um, you can you can either try to pull your hands or your feet break the, those chains. Well, I wasn't planning. I just wanted to test them. I wasn't going to break out because that's a feat of strength. All I was going to do is start contorting. To get out, I'd rather I'd rather use contortions than than strength here. So okay, you can try to do an acrobatics check to slip free. All right, you actually manage to slip your hands free. So Jaws well, does... I'll I'll drop down as silently as possible because the uh, I don't want to attack track the attention of the orc and basically um deal try and do the same thing with. The manacles, what because it hold them in position and get my feet because again they're designed for soft feet, not Before proper feet. Before that happens, there's um, where the guard is stationed to your left. A minotaur suddenly appears out of a room, and he's kind of gruff and laughing. They're, they they aren't really using their library voices, so you can easily overhear them talk. And the Minotaur says, well, I broke that toy quicker than I expected. I'm going to need another one tomorrow. Maybe one with horns. I don't like other things having horns. And the guard laughs at this. And 
the the minotaur disappears and from the sound of it you think it might be up some stairs okay um and then i also want to give shafira a chance to try to do something to break herself free can i am my leg shackled as well yes it's two separate things to check your hands or your your ankles. Can I um am I able to pull my hands free? Uh do a dex check. And it's with advantage, let's say, or you're proficient at using your thieves tools on this. So okay, add two. So, so is that a is that is that a dex ability then rather than a save? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you work at the, your manacles with the thieves tools. And after a few seconds, the lock pops open and your, your hands are free. Can I, well, can I try and get my legs free? Do I need, uh, um, or yeah, can I get my legs free? Before we let that happen, because I'm kind of, I'm kind of have you guys actually roll initiative at this point. All of us are just the two that are All awake. of you, all of you can at this point. Yay! I'm it's above just a D20 zero. Yeah. No, no, there's a, it's an, that an item for on your front page. The INIT. It'll be your um, your a D20 plus your Dex modifier. Oh, got it. All right. As Can a... I go back to the one I just did? It was... Oh, no, it won't bear. Never mind. <laughs> uh, as a point of note, if you're on your... Stay on your actions page, uh, all of your checks, all of your saves, your initiative, and your armor class are at the top of the page, along with all of your combat actions. So it's oh, uh, nice. a nice okay. collection of everything. Because he got a nice mod... What's that called? 5e action abilities, I think? Um, yeah, something like that. Okay. Action abilities. Something, something. I'm writing this down just in case it scrolls off and they remember. Though, of course, it's in our combat tracker because this is fantasy grounds. This isn't some, like, you know, some oh, yeah, amateur hour. <laughs> and I could just pay attention there. But I haven't marked whose turn it is yet. It's a teeny bit before that, but I also kind of want to use your um initiative to track a couple things do you, you want to hide the um neutral faction so we, you know spoilers uh no nah, it's fine okay i think it's fine might be fine the people i mean you can see the people across from you yeah but we can't see shirt oh you can't yeah, can. see shirt Shirt's well, here. well he, he's on the combat tracker is what I mean, but he hasn't been... No, he's here. He's yeah. opposite us. Yeah, they should all oh. be visible. Oh, I thought there was just a half work and the, the minute downstairs. Wait, wait, wait. Those is are... it supposed to be a map showing? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, okay. there should be a map showing. Okay. I'm sorry! Well, that <laughs> helps! <laughs> no, it's just the way you were talking then. I thought, well, they, they, get, they can see Now that you're like getting that. conscious, see? you can actually see some things. <laughs> I mean, Okay, so um, Jazdes and Shafira can see all of this. The rest of you, it's 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 becoming information very soon. Oh, now we can see shirt. And what is Paco doing here? Is that his name? Well, no, he's just listed as Goblin, but that's Paco. Paco might be. I mean, Paco could be a very common Goblin name for you know. It could be like Goblin John. That's true, and and I don't think Paco would associate with a group of uh, potential slavers. Well, he's in manacles with you. There, there are four people. There are four bodies across oh. the whole tribune. They're also in manacles. Oh. And you see that Shirt has woken up, and he's kind of struggling. At least, well, Jaws Des and and Shafira see, and he's kind of like, golly. Oh God. Cool. And he's kind of struggling with his manacles. I'll try and gesticulate to him to shush. Because the last thing I want is 
the guard coming in while we're breaking out the manacles. At this point... Another soft shows up outside the okay. cage. And he has this uh, conversation with the half-orc guard. Apparently, the half-orc guard is surprised to see him down here because he's the bosun of the ship, and normally it's not his purvey to take care of uh, prisoners and cargo and such. But he says that after the last trip, when almost half of the cargo didn't make it to their destination, and a few of the prisoners almost escaped, uh, he thought he would reinforce the chains. So he unlocks the cage door and comes in. He walks up to Steve, who is still unconscious. Damn it! He Couldn't drops... you quiet tail slap me? He drops out of his pocket, he drops three servings of rations and two water skins. He sets his tools down and he slaps Steve awake. And he says, rise yourself, boy! The boss says, that, 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 that was unnecessary. This is no time to be dreaming of Kelpies. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. You may not recognize me, but I know who you are. You cast the fog that spared the salamanders smuggling dragon shards out of Kesslin's cove last spring. And for that, you don't deserve what's coming to you. Okay, that, so that, that belays my mental order to Eldritch blast him in the face. <laughs> well, here's the curious thing. You kind of started, you were starting to Eldritch blast anything that you could get to. But you found that what normally would be an effortless use of a magic skill seems to peter out and is ineffectual in this space. Mm. So you think this cage might be warded against magic. Okay, well, this bosun here is uh, clearly uh, a good dude because he knows what's up with the, you look at him, the salamanders. He's a, he's a middle-aged man. You don't recognize him off the bat. I don't know. Do a, a perception check. Perception check. I'm great at these. Mm-hmm. Here you mm -hmm. are. Thank you. Fine. So, there's things about him that strike you as unfamiliar. He half of his face seems to be scarred from burns, um, and he's middle aged. But you have this niggling feeling that maybe you know him from somewhere. But you don't think it's the salamanders. Maybe it could have been someone from an odd job or something. At this point, he opens, he has kind of like a trench coat that's oiled. And he opens it and he pulls out a short sword. And you recognize it, Steve, as your arcane fo focus. Ooh! And he kind of blocks it as he hands this to you. And then he starts talking in a really low voice. He says, stay alert. When night comes, I'll try and drug the guard. He holds the manacle keys. You're a bit on the scrawny side, so maybe you should get some of this other crab food to help you. Then you might make it off the ship alive. If you have to make a break for it, the rest of any gear you had when they hijacked you will be in the storage hold right above this one. While he's been talking, the bosun also seems to be working to loosen the bolts that are securing your manacles, rather than making them tighter. Saltmarsh is still the closest port. Head southwest to reach it. There are three elemental launches on the main deck, used for shore leave and the more larcenous pursuits. But worst comes to worst, I reckon you know how to swim, boy. Yep. And at this, the bosun drops... He has a straw hat on, which I failed to mention. He's had it pulled low over his face, so you can't see his features very well, other than the scarring and a kind of gruff chin. And he takes off his straw hat and he puts it on your head, effectively covering your horns, Steve. 
and then he leaves the cell. Now for the three people who are awake, do a perception check. Whoa. I'm great at these. There must have been, you must have had your perceptive Wheaties this morning. All of you. All of you notice that the bosun did not lock the cell door behind him. And he kind of, you know, says something gruff to the half-orc guard, and then he disappears out of sight. Did everyone else hear that conversation? Um, that, uh... Let, me, let me give you a uh, little chat box of that conversation, because it was information dump. I was just going to say, did, did everyone else hear that, or is that just... Only the people who are awake. So Jaws, Des, Shafira, and you all heard that conversation. Okay. And did he did he loosen uh, Goblin, Halfling, Shirt, and Kobold's manacles, too, or is it just our side? Um, everybody's. Okay. Because that would make some pretty nasty animosity if they watched him just loosen everyone else, and they're like, really, dude? Really? Okay. Wall of text. Incoming. So, everybody roll another constitution save. Who's asleep? Oops. Oh, sorry. It's really funny how everybody who's already awake are the ones who are rolling the best. I told you all my good rolls last week. I'm consistent. Don't worry. We'll wake you up. Yeah, we can just so nudge him. Oh, are we below the waterline in the hold here? I don't, I'm not sure you can tell. There aren't any portholes. And there no, is no, a... No, you do see a grate um, in, the, in the roof about 15 feet above that leads to the hold above, or to yeah. the next floor above. Um, but there's no natural light coming through. It's very, very faint. Um, po probably artificial light that's coming through. Yeah, uh, 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 it, it'll be it'll be dependent on whether how swollen the timbers are. But um, I'll just concentrate on getting out of the manacles as quietly um, as possible, and then move down to make sure everyone's awake and we can get them out. Seems Shafira seems to be doing a good job of releasing herself. So. Breaking into... Uh, how... Yes? I was say, how observant is the half-orc being? Like, is he, like, eyeballing us while he, we're he getting is, out of has, the chains? He has a deck of cards, and he's playing, like, solitaire. Half-orc version so, of solitaire. So, as long as so, we're not... So far, he hasn't noticed anything in his, in his checks. So far, he hasn't caught any of this. Um... You notice that uh, the goblin has woken up, and he's cha -cha -cha. oh ha ha, and he starts working at his his uh, manacles. The kobold and the halfling are still unconscious. Chimere, breaking into Chimere's nightmares, suddenly Chimere isn't alone. Chimera sees his halfling friend Shafir arrive to draw up the crowd that has been attacking him and fight all comers. Then the teachings of Chimera's monastery suffuse his senses instead of fear. And his emotions are still water and his will becomes ironclad. His eyes calmly open. Chimera is now awake. Okay, cool. So, um... I can't remember if you said what the lighting was like in here. There is very, very faint lighting for the most part. It's kind of dark. You can see around okay. you immediately within the cell area. There's a tiny bit of light coming in from a grade about 15 feet overhead at the roof, technically, of the hold. All right, so if I've got dark vision, am I going to make out anything else? Or is it just going to be, it's just still going to look like an Nothing empty hold? Nothing different from what I've described already. You see to the right, right okay. of you, there are two barred doors. There's the cell to the left. You see the half-orc on duty. You see the goblins and sundry across from you. You see that Shafira is right next to you. And you recognize these this lot of people from the night before. 
doing the claw pong. You also kind of remember throwing up on a gnome. <laughs> All right. So, um, so if I've spotted you through, I'm just gonna sort of like gesture to make say, you know, are you okay? Um, and then I'm probably gonna see that she's getting herself out of a manacle. So I'm gonna hold mine up and say, get me out. Any of you can roll a check at this point who's awake. Everybody except for um, Karathlana. You can roll a check either um, athletics, acrobatics, or in the case of um, Shafira, a dex check to um, free something that is still chained. Uh, sorry, so I roll a dex check or acrobatics? Whichever's best. Um, yeah, you can you can do a dex. If you want to use your thieves tool, it's going to be a dex check. You could just roll sleight of hand for that. It should be the same as your proficiency with thieves tools. Okay. All right. So Justice, you've slipped out both hands and feet, so you're technically free. So is Shafira. So the two of you are fully free. Chimere, you are no longer. Um, your hands are free. Okay. Now, Steve, what are you doing? Oh, Steve was disconnected. And is yeah. Steve actually Steve connected? Is, Steve, Steve is back. I think Steve is back. If I'm okay. free, as long as I'm reasonably safe, I'll try and move down the line, make sure everyone's awake and they're at least moving. And if anyone needs that, um, actually, I'm not going to try and help. I don't understand their soft stuff. They'll complain. Um, can I while everyone else is doing their climb up the, the central post, I want to check to see if the grate above is actually locked or is just um, in place, because they're not usually going to be expecting people to start climbing around in this place. Okay. I want Steve to make one, to make a check if he wants to, to see about getting out. Um... Would this be uh, athletics or acrobatics? Yeah, whichever is best. You can either try to wriggle free or you can try to break free. I'll use uh, athletics. That's, uh, that's a lot better than my dex. <laughs> but you're not successful. So just as you start to climb up the side of the hold and suddenly there is a loud cracking sound and the ship heaves like something large. It, there's been some kind of large impact. Okay. The Was ship it... lists Sorry. 30 degrees to port, so do a deck save. In fact, everybody can do a deck save. And anyone who was unconscious is now conscious. Do those of us who still have our manacles attached to the wall get advantage because we have something to help hold us? Well, you're not going to fly to the other side. Okay, so just as you slip off the wall and fall to the floor, um, Steve, you kind of um, you kind of flop forward. Your your ankles are still in manacles, um, but your wrists aren't. So you kind of flip around the other direction, and your head is facing port side now. So do I make a horrified strangling sound? Oh, um, also, uh, with the, um, not to bother the DM, but um, I, I think with my crashing, I did not, my file didn't keep the arcane focus being returned. Okay. I might have actually dragged it to your character sheet. Actually, let me drag some other stuff. Get straw hat. <laughs> There we go. The party, they get uh, on the floor are three rations and two water skins. Can I, can I scoop up a, a water skin? Sure. Um, you can take it from the party uh, inventory if you go to the character sheet or the party sheet. That's it's at the top right of uh, Fantasy Grounds with a little eye and a little picture of people. 
Did you just hear me then saying, where's the party shoot? Alright, take one. Parcel items is a good thing to pay attention to. That's basically our party shared bank, and we can steal things from there. Okay, well, I think my legs are still chained. Yes, your ankles are still chained, but uh, you have incredible balance. So when the ship lurched, you did not slip. You kind of held fast your position. Okay, so am I anywhere near Jod's death? Um, you're about 10 feet away. I was going to sort of like hold out a hand to help him up, but I think I'm too far off then. Unless the chains will let me move closer to him to help him up. Uh, no, I'm can't... just going to start scampering the walls again, don't worry. You can really <laughs> physically, since your, your ankles are still chained, you can only really still interact with Shafira and Carol Thana. Right. Okay. So the halfling is alert now. And he starts trying to get out of his thing. He's like, oh boy, this is terrible, this is terrible. And he manages to slip his, his hands free of his, um, his wrist manacles. I'm starting to do um, initiative order. So the goblin is, ha 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 He's very stressed and unhappy. Like, you can't blame him, really. He is struggling, but he fails to slip free of either of his bonds. The kobold wakes up. The kobold's not happy. Yuck! Yuck! They must be freeing me, or the dread pirate Meeble will have their hides! And he tries to escape. Hey, kobold, do you still hate me? I don't know you. Did you put me in here? Okay, cool. Yarr! Did you put me in here? The Dread Pirate Meebo will have your hide if you put me in here. Get me out! <laughs> he's he's struggling. He he can't get out of his bonds either. Now, Jaws Das, what do you want to do now? Um, in the short term, who's still on my side looking at the doors and things? It's a safer side to try and deal things at the moment. Who's still actually in bonds? Who isn't? A uh, Chimere's ankles are in bonds. Carolith, Carathana. <laughs> why is my why am I having a problem now? It's the bourbon, isn't it? Carathana is, I think, still in chains, for wrist and ankle, and Steve is free, right? No, I, I still have my feet bound. You have your feet bound. And um... so Steve and Chimere have their feet bound, and Carathana has everything bound. Okay. Uh, the the so I will just move down the line and basically I, I don't know whether it's better to roll to try and break them out themselves or just give them assistance in breaking out. Themselves. Well, you can if you assist someone, they'll have advantage on their turn. I'll do it that way. That's actually a better percentage chance than me trying and then trying. It works out about the same with slight benefits. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll I'll go down to the first person and basically try to assist them to get out the leg the the leg breaks. Carathon will have the next turn. Okie dokie. Uh, the, um... Oh, sorry. The thing. Oh. Um, right, I'm kind of confused because I was having a really nice dream when it was all weighty. And now I'm in a boat that seems to be shaking and it's all a bit weird. And wasn't I out drinking with you guys last night? Um. Yes, you also fight. you remember talking to some poacher. Can't remember his name, but he drank a lot of claw wine with you, and he talked about some haunted house and seeing lights over the sea at night. Oh, that sounds exciting! Yeah, that definitely bears some and investigation. Then you wake up and now you're on this ship, and it smells of landlubbers and the sea, and it's just not a nice situation. So part of it's not nice. right. I'm going to try and get out of my on. Um, the, uh, and Steve smells like god awful <laughs> fish, guts, <laughs> and wine. Can I? Can uh, I'll sort you out in a minute. Maybe. Um, okay. I'll try and break out my wrist. I don't think. You 
are not able. Wait, do that with advantage. Uh, so roll again. Yep. Ah, uh -huh. no. <laughs> Definitely. Not. Okay. So it was no more successful, unfortunately. <sighs> but, uh, but, yep. Shafira, you are free and able to do whatever you want to. Okay, so um, I could try and get um, Chimera out of the ankle shackles. Mm hmm Yeah? Yes. If you want to use your these tools, just uh, do a save. You can use your sleight of hand. Okay. Because I think you're proficient in that. Okay, jiggle, jiggle, click. Chimera is now free. Woohoo! So, Shirt, the Warforge, he tries to, he has managed to bust his wrists free, and now he's going to try to, uh, to pull his, um, his ankle manacles, but he utterly flubs it. It's a very sad day for Shirt's. And he's like, golly shoot! They just bolted the manacles to him? Yeah. Uh, Chimir, it is now your turn. Okay. Um, how high up is the grate that Jos Jos Fif does was 15 feet. So I won't be able to jump it? Yeah. Jostas has uh, climbing naturally, so yeah. he can actually get to it without jumping. Okay. Um... Then I'm going to notice that Carifalana is still um, shackled and see if there's any way I can sort of like force the shackle. Yeah, you can try to force it or try to um, slip her free. So do uh, athletics or acrobatics, whichever you prefer. Oh, I do apologize. All right. I forgive you, my child. <laughs> So Carathlana is still in chains. Steve, you now have an opportunity to try to wriggle free. Now, before he does anything else, he's going to look at the ankle chains and kind of try and coalesce that Eldritch energy in his hand to see if he can just blast it with Eldritch Blast. And upon seeing that, I assume fail again. Kind of, it just... fizzles. The, the old ones fail you. Just doesn't coalesce, and he goes, "All right, fine." And it's like a, uh, it's a tentacle to... free zone somehow, even despite Apparently. your dreams. And then he will try and uh, wriggle out of his his chains. And he is successful. You manage to kind of somehow adjust the ankle. Maybe you even like dislocate your ankle somehow, and you know bust your feet free of your ankle manacles. So you are now free. Just dislocate it, slide it out, put it back in the socket, and like, everything's good! It's either that, your sure. legs are slowly turning into tentacles. You don't need to worry about that, though. Yeah, so... <laughs> so at this point, everyone is free except Carathlana, who is still chained wrist and feet. Well, we've also got the guys on the other side of the room to try and get oh, out great. as well. Um, I'm going to stay in, stay in place and uh, remember to click and turn. There we go. Half orcs turn. Goody. The, um, there is another strike against the ship. And at this point, it was against, it seemed to be against the port side this time. So the ship lists to starboard. And there's a crack in the hold where you are, and a trickle of water begins to seep in. So, below. You are. <laughs> so, to answer your earlier question, yes, you are below the water line. We need to get our staff before this boat falls apart. Well, so that's easy. The, us, but anyway. the um, halfling, at this point, he tries. He's still struggling. He's trying to get free. He does manage to get his hands free, and he is really, really happy about it. Oh, boy! It sounds like Mickey Mouse. 
Don't all halflings sound like Mickey Mouse? <laughs> we gotta get out of here. It's getting to be a bit of a damn situation. <laughs> Is he going to do this weird <laughs> jiggling thing where, where he never stays still constantly? That's semi -sea Just bouncing, yeah. bouncing in place. Yeah, semi-sea shantying. Um. And uh, the, the goblin stops Cha Cha's eyeing for a second, and he's, he's going to try to wriggle free again. And he continues to fail. Ah, Cha Cha The kobold is continuing to talk about the Dread Pirate Meeble and how he's going to make everyone pay for what is happening to him. You don't, you don't. <laughs> I don't know what voice I'm speaking now. <laughs> Arn, this is not the feet of Scurvy. So apparently the kobold's name is Scurvy. And he rolls a nat one, so he basically chokes himself on his own chains. <laughs> Good. Um, well, it stops him talking. Um, yeah. Is is the Dread Pirate Meeble like the Dread Pirate Roberts? Apart from every time Meeble gets killed ignobly, um, uh, a new Dread Pirate Meeble is named yes. and put into the dog pen. Man. Um, and you know that Scurvy is hoping he's the next Dread Pirate Meeble. He's dreaming of it. We'll find, if he if we'll he survives. Find some dogs for him. Now, just ask, what do you do? <sighs> right. There's someone with feast tools that's capable of getting people out of chains. That's more competent than I am at this thing. I'm going to go back and um, climb up whatever that pillar in the middle of the room is and have a look at the hold um, grate. The grate, I, I, when you inspect it, it's really easy to tell that it is bolted down. Is it? Uh, how to explain? Um... I, it's bolted down, it's fixed in position, it's not movable, or yes. it's... Yes, it's locked, it seems to be secured, and wherever the fastenings are, they are not on this side of the ship. Like, if you push against it, you don't see it move or jostle. How big are the great holes? The great holes, it's about... Well, if you're talking about, like, the little mesh portion of it... There, it's too small. Right, so um, it, it is an actual, it's an actual mesh rather than the wooden You could frame. probably okay. fit... I mean, I'm not sure. How big is a lizard full claw? Well, no, I'm not going to try and go through. A halfling would have no trouble fitting their hand through and fiddling around yeah. with stuff on the other side. You might be noticed, maybe? I don't know what's up there. Or you don't know what's up there. Well, I'm, I'm going to... Actually, once you're up there, do a perception check. Yeah, I was going to try and work out... Um, why are you not working? Uh, it's because it's not a skill. I just nah. All right, so um, you you don't hear anything, but at this point you hear the half orc has noticed you, and he's like, "Oh, what are you doing there?" And the okay, half orc well, changes what I'm doing. Yeah. The half orc comes in and he notices that you guys are free. I'm around. Hang on. And he's going to try to... Can I move myself? Because I want to yes. move myself to... Everybody except for Karathlana can move themselves. I can't move my character, you see. So I was going oh, to put know it what? in the middle of the hole. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what I just realized I did? You pinned us all in place. I have locked you temporarily. Wait just a second. I'll unlock you. You should be able to move yourself now. There we go. So I'm about here. So can I move as well, or do I have to wait for my turn? You'll have to wait for your turn. Okay, fair well, enough. I, I've climbed, I've fiddled around, I'm done, so it's... Um, Keflana. So, the half-orc... Well, the half-orc, it is not technically his turn yet, so we're going to give Kerathlana a chance to do something. Okay, I'm going to try really hard to get out my mana. Really hard? Really hard. You mean you weren't trying really hard before? Um, I, I've now got the added of incentive of a harkor potentially in my face. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah. And there is water still trickling into the hold. Also an added percent. Um, yeah. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> All right. So your wrists are free now. And the ha half orc's like, hey, you stop that! I see you being sticky there. Can I shank him in the throat? <laughs> when it's your turn. <laughs> Shifira. Yes. It is your turn. What do you do? Um, 
Well, um, Kerry Solana's uh, ankles are still... Uh, are they not? Yes. She... Her yeah. ankles are still secure. Her ankles are still... What is it? It's so I could try and... Can I reach her from where I am? Yeah, Yeah, you're totally oh, free. Can about, so can you can I? you can move about and... and yeah. If you were so, adjacent I'll... to... If you were next to Chimere, um, you could reach her. Okay, so I'll um, try and get her feet free. Mm-hmm. So, do a, you can do a sleight of hand. Oh, bugger. But unfortunately, that is not good enough. You saw my toes. Sorry. <laughs> Let's just pretend you stepped forward to do that, and then you stepped back to where you originally were standing, so that you're not next to um, the half-orc, maybe. Okay. Well, actually, you weren't next to the half-orc. I, I, I imagine you were standing that space between the post and Chimere. Yeah. Um, so, Shirt, he's going to try to get out of his, uh, his bonds again. <laughs> and he nat ones because I rolled for him. And he basically manages to somehow get his feet tangled even more so in the chains around his ankles, and he trips and falls prone. Can he please be squashing Meeble now? Uh, no, not Meeble. Meeble, Meeble, Meeble's successor. Well, let's Good. see. Let me roll a d4 and see who he falls on. Well, they're both on natural ones now, so they're just going to turn into a giant. I think that's fair. I think that's yeah. fair. Okay, so he trips and falls over on, on, on Scurvy, and Scurvy's like, Yeah! Bah! Greg! Barry! Meeble will have you for this! Ah! Come here! Right. You are free. So, so I'm three. Kerifalan is still shackled... Um, Legs, yeah. And there is a is an armed half orc glowering, looking like he's ready to get you guys. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna put myself between Kerislana and the orc. Don't know what I need to do if I want to punch him. Uh, go to your actions tab, and you can just punch him. You'll you'll use the the dice to hand next to your hand to hand will be your attack roll. Okay. All right. That's successful. So roll your Oops. damage. Because you never disarm a monk. And you can just drag your damage dice onto him. Oh, that was so oh, cruel. Yeah. And you get another attack because you you attacked with your first one, so you get to do a second hand-to-hand -hand attack. Okay. Well, no, you get to attack again. Sorry. We'll see if you hit, but if you do hit, we'll use that die. Okay. No, no. That one is a miss. Did three damage. He was dead. Now he lived. Steve. What do okay, you do? I have a weird idea here. Uh... Looks like there is a mast between uh, myself and Jostis. Is that the case, or is he? Yes. I mean, well, he's up on the ceiling. Yes, there is okay. a mast support. Well, that ruins that idea. Um, I will step up and um, let's try and shank him in the throat. That's a hit. The half work appears bloodied. And you hear him go, Arr! And I would like to use my bonus action to profusely apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Didn't mean it. So the half work is like, they don't pay him enough for this. So. He's going to start moving back out of out of the cell, and the door is still open behind him. Um, do we get any attacks of yes, opportunity? Yes, you do. 
both Chimere oh. and you, Steve, get to well, do an attack of opportunity. Not not to uh, tell the DM what to do, but he could have disengaged from one of us, at least. He could have. But if he didn't, I'm not going to complain. Shush you. <laughs> same side, man, same side. Ah. So Chimera missed with the 9, and you hit with a 16, Steve. And you manage to take him down as he's running away, and he's like, Arr! So he just kind of slumps against that other mast? So real in reality, he makes, it about, he makes it about this far, and then he's unconscious, bleeding out. Just, just kind of stare at the short turn. Did I do that? This thing's sharp. At this point, you hear a sound that's kind of harsh. It is it sounds like wood grating against wood, followed by a high pitched screech of pain from something very large. And then something strikes the ship again and the ship lists port side again so everyone roll a deck save okay. um. Kareth Lana on brand totally <laughs> so Kareth Lana you find yourself tipping forward Chimere you fall over uh you fall 10 feet until you also fall against Scurvy, the kobold, and squish him. Okay. Poor Scurvy. Lana, you're just kind of topsy-turvy. But everybody else holds their balance. The halfling's going to try to escape again. And unfortunately... He fails to get his feet released. The goblin also tries. And he suddenly understands how manacles and locks work and manages to burst free from both his hand manacles and his ankle manacles at once. And he stands there proudly. And he starts running around uh, toward a uh, shirt. And the next time shirt rolls, he's going to have ex assistance. Scurvy tries to get free. He's cursing everybody who has fallen on top of him. <laughs> They're helping. And Scurvy manages to get his feet free, but he is still chained to the side of the hold by his wrists. Just death. Uh, going to loot the corpse in the vague hope that he may have keys and the vague hope he may have a weapon. He does have keys. Uh, can I throw the keys? Everyone else on our side are out now, aren't they? My feet. Apart from your feet. Uh, I'll throw the keys to Kef Lana then, um, initially, and grab any weapons he's got. And he... But I, don't want the, I don't necessarily want the weapons, I just want to know what he's got to work from there. Yeah, for some reason. He has a cutlass on him. He also has... Is that a scimitar or a short sword? <laughs> it is more like a scimitar because it's slashing damage. Okay. I like scimitars. But I'm technically armed. You're te technically unarmed? No, I'm technically armed already. Okay. Um, With your claws? Your... 
punching people. He you're also has person. this. Um, he also has this instrument that he didn't get to use. It looks like some kind of reinforced snare. It's on a long pole. It's about six to ten feet long, and it has a loop on the end. Looks like it's meant to either whip people with it or to loop it over their throats to hold them out yeah. of reach. Well, I'm not planning on using that. Uh, so I'll hold on to the scimitar until, unless someone else wants a, sim a weapon, but they can come and shout at me at that point. Um, uh, uh, and oh, that's pretty much, I, I basically searched phone keys and stuff, so I'm not going to do anything else. So I will skip to Keplana, who can let herself out now. You have keys. Okay. I will let myself out. Is anybody still chained? Uh, the kobold. The kobold the shirt. The kobold still. shirt. Well, the halfling and shirt have their um, ankles are still caged, and the kobold has his wrists chained. Okay, if I throw the keys to Shirt, he'll, he'll actually be able to get out this round. If he catches them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'll let myself out and throw the keys over. You could just walk over and hand them to him. I could. You could. I'll throw them. I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'd have to go past the goblin if she did that. And he's all, he's all shouty, and yeah. the kobold's a bit scary, so yeah, I'll stay on this side of the ship, thanks. So I'm going to see, um, well, I'll see on Shirt's turn. Um, Shafira, what do you want to do? I did put a cutlass and uh, a suit of leather armor in the party sheet of things that are rummaged off of the half-orc. Mm. Will the leather armor be too big for me? Um, yes. <laughs> it will be quite floppy, but I'm sure it would look very fun. You could just wear the top. Wear be the like top. a leather dress. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, shall I get that? Sure, you should be able to just drag it to your inventory from the, um, party inventory. Nope, that's... Yeah, no, I'm going to. The cutlass is something weird. It's not e. It's not a scimitar or a short sword. So yeah, it's kind of it's defined as its own weapon. Yeah, so I can't use it. So I'll I'll throw it to whoever uh, needs it. Must them. be defined as what, Marshall? Why wouldn't you be able to use no, it no, a fighter, right? No, no, I I, I mean it, it, it's not a weapon I will use because it's strength based. Oh, okay. It's not a finessable weapon, right? Yeah, so it's it's a it, it it it's its own weirdness. So, um, how do I drag something back to the party? I, I just want to check that. How about I drag it for you? Because I'm not sure. Oh, I've done it. Can... There we oh, go. did you do it? Okay, cool. Yeah. So there is a weapon there for the people who actually want the weapon. Well, for um, if you want for the, for uh, a few minutes until we get our stuff back, uh, you can borrow my short sword and I'll use the cutlass. No, no, I'm I'm still armed. It's better if everyone's got weapons than I'm slightly more dangerous with a short sword, but only slightly. Is there anything else you want to do, Shafira? Um. Uh... Is the door locked still at no. the bottom? The... No, it's not locked. Is there another door? Is there another door past it? The, uh, well, you'll have to go past it to see what's beyond the cage door. You, and there's there, there are two doors within this hole to your right towards the um, floor of the ship. But to your aft, uh, if you go through the cage door, I will unmask a little bit more. So south is aft, just... Yeah, south the, is aft. The, okay, because in the, this hole we wouldn't really have a... Which is forward and which is backwards. So what you see is there's a table with a, a deck of cards and a lantern on top of it where the guard was had his kind of post station. There are a couple barrels. There's a 
flight of stairs. And then there's another locked door. And that's the one I think you were conscious that you saw the Minotaur come out of. Or was that when only Jaws Desk was alert? I'm not sure. The Minotaur. Yeah, the Minotaur yeah, that came out earlier was talking about playing with his toys and wanting yeah, a Yeah, I think Shafira was awake at that point as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the door he came out of when he, before he started talking to the half-orc guard. Do a perception check, Shafira. Okay. All right. You don't notice anything. Other. <laughs> <laughs> it ships. Down. You you know it's a ship. Okay. Um. Uh, I've no idea what to do next. Uh, any ideas from the party? We need to get up to the second the deck above us and get our stuff back. So we're either getting everyone free and going up the okay. going up the stairs and hoping, or we can try and bust the grill, but it is locked, well, and I can't guarantee we can open it. Okay, can I stand on somebody's shoulders and try to get up to the grate? Well, aren't there stairs at the back? There's, or is that a pallet? There's stairs, uh, like 15 feet south gonna... of Shafira is a flight of stairs that seem to be leading up. Lead it. Well, up is what kind of, wouldn't that lead to the deck where our stuff is since it's the one above us? Yeah. It, it, at this moment, it's probably easier if we move, uh, get everyone out, move as a group, go up the stairs, and mob hand it. I'm assuming the ship is in some form of conflict. Uh, okay. You've moved. Uh, if you're not going to take any other actions, no, I'm going to say no. that's your turn. Yeah. Shirt is going to try to free himself again, this time with a... S oh, wait. I was going to rule to see if he actually caught these keys. Because we know that's going to go well. I think that's going to be an acrobatics. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's his deck score. Pardon, pardon me. I did it again. What is my problem? Oh, I know what my problem is. And I didn't do it with it. I didn't do it with advantage. Wait, no, he didn't catch the keys. That's basically what I'm getting at. He did not catch those keys. So he has to use his movement to try to pick them up. And you see him fumble. And we're going to basically say that Shirt used this turn Picking up keys. Does the goblin give him a look of complete and utter disgust? Yes, the goblin does. <laughs> He's just shaking his head. And the kobold is like, you know, Damn! What is taking you so long? Free scurvy! Alright, so uh, since Shirt still has the keys, I'm going to try and help scurvy out. Alrighty. That is good enough to free Scurvy's feet. So, I mean, oh, that's good enough to free his wrists as well. So, Scurvy is free. Now, it's Steve's turn. <laughs> Unless you want to move. Did you want to uh, move, Chimera? Yeah, I did, actually. Okay, go um, ahead and move. So, I'm going I'm to leave Shirt to it, since he's got the bloody keys and he should get himself out now. Uh, so, I'm going to go... Can I move as far as the stairs? You can move six squares. So you can move to be like square? Uh, Shafira is. You could be like the square next to her. All right. So I can't get upstairs to listen at the door. Right. Right. Okay. I'll get there in preparation then. Now, All right. Steve. So they are either free or they have the keys. So um... I'm sure it will be fine. What could go wrong? 
as far as my counting goes, I can get just to there. Excuse me! Sorry! And then... Seeing that there's um, no uh, immediate threat here, we'll then um, use my action to dash and head up the stairs. Ooh, you just had to dash. How far did you make it? Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four. Uh, looks like I got two squares on whatever the next map is. Are you peeking? Well, uh, obviously, I'm, I'll be looking up the stairs as as things come into uh into view and decide whether or not I will then just you know Kramer into the next room I, or not. I'm gonna adjust the next map because you don't have quite as much distance as I have given at the moment. Like if there's a door, I'll, I'll stop and listen. Or if there's a opening, then you know, take a a look. A look -see. Especially since I have a feeling that there might be one of the matches from Cephalopod Tinder outside. I'm sharing another map. Did I share that? Or did I fail to click something? I don't see it. Oh, there it goes. And do a perception check. Or actually, because you're peeping, It's a boat. You do see that there seems to be a crewmate, actually two crewmates, at the top of the stairs. Have they, uh, noticed? Give me a sec. No, they have not noticed. Okay. I might not roll the right dice, but hey, let's say that's, let's say that's legit. Uh, well, no, on I the think stairs... I did. Yeah. Well, on the stairs, do I still have a visual of, uh... Kymir and Shafira behind, yes. behind me? I'm pretending that okay. you are on the very top half of the staircase, so you can peer over the side on the on the floor above like you're peering out of a manhole cover. But you can well, also right now, easily like... see them and like make motions and whisper to them if you need to. And right now I have a straw hat from the bosun, so they think of the bosun. Yeah, they might think you're the bosun. So I kind of duck back down, look at Chimera and Shafira, and, you know, point at my eyes and hold up the number two. Like, we've got hostiles. And that's it. Okay. At this point, there is another terrible crash against the port side of the ship. There is a tremendous cracking sound and the wood on the port side where uh, Shirt and the kobold and the halfling and the goblin all stand seems to shatter. And a tentacle sweeps in through the wood there's now this open gaping hole in the port side and water is rapidly gushing into the hold steve your wife's here and all four 
of them are swept over sides by this tentacle. Yeah, sure, it's fine. Anything, any chains, any manacles that were still secured, the keys as well, um, are all basically ripped free of their moorings. And they're all uh, within the sea, taken to the ocean's embrace at this point. But that was our cannon fodder. So sad. <laughs> You no longer can see a shirt. And as the goblin disappears out of sight, you hear cha cha sa! <laughs> <laughs> and Scurvy's yelling about the dread pirate Meeble. One last gargled. Yeah! <laughs> and Scurvy's Wait. gone. Totally lost opportunity to go me. <laughs> I can't do it as well as you. You gargle better than I do. <laughs> so that's something I did not expect to discover today. That wasn't a gargle. That was a murloc. Okay. So water rapidly entering ship. Jaws Um. Well, it's time to leave. Uh, so I will. Um, one, two, three, five, six. And one, two, three, four. So I think I can get to about here. Well, I can't move on to the other map. Okay, that's fun. Wait. Yeah, I just want to get go up the stairs and be at the top of the stairs. I'm not bothering with stealth. I'm not bothering with anything else. I'm just making myself a target. You want to go to the next level? Yeah. All right, I will move you to the next level. Well, that hasn't flooded yet, so... <laughs> There's a positive advantage to being up there. You are there. Anything else? Uh, if I can get far enough away from the stairs so other people can get up, and I'm just basically covering it, so... I think... Uh, did you... Wait. I, now I'm like, where did you start out? I, I could have got, I, I should be able to get to about here based on the movement I got. Okay. Anything else you want to do? Because I'm not do? necessarily going to use the stairs in the, the correct... Um, Any kind of ranged whatever or act other actions? No, no, no. I'm, I'm bringing their attention. I'm just basically making myself a target so everyone else can move up. The thing is, let me roll for them. One of them notices you. The other one does not. One of them, one of them notices you and is like, hey! The other one is busy scrambling around trying to get something out of one of the, there's some lock boxes here. Um, some foot lockers. Can, can I point down the stairs and say, Kraken's coming? They seem unfazed. It's like they already know because they've been on top size or something. They're like trying to yeah. get something out of their out of their gear, get their things before they flee the ship. And one of them notices you. The other one is too occupied getting their yeah. things. Apparently, Golden Hook crew. Like you think the yeah. one who does notice you runs up to you and uh, tries to give you a slash with their scimitar. They do not swing good enough, probably from a combination of panic and just being some lowly doodad, you know, crew member. Yep. So they completely fail. That's it for them. It's Carathlana's time to shine now. Run! I'm going to grab the stuff and run. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. What stuff do you have? You're grabbing the rations, the water skin, the cutlass. Water skin. Yep. Whatever, whatever there is there. Oh, yep. that's good. I don't have to delete them. No. See, I'm, I'm good to you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for saving me work. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, all right. And I believe you can actually use the cutlass as well, because you've I got can. Marshall. So. One, three, four, five. 
you so you can get to where they are basically yeah she's got marshall yeah she's a really aggressive cleric tempest clerics you don't get to pick your domain until level two though yeah. <laughs> We're not going to Inside, she inside. Ha I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why you get asked to leave smuggling parties, Steve. That's why they asked me to leave the smugglers. Okay. okay. Is there um, anything else you want to do, Carathlana? Um, I'm not sure there's anything else I can do. So I can move a bit further. But I wouldn't have. There we go. Okay, Shafira? How many squares can I move? Uh, you can move five squares, uh, ten with a dash, if you use a dash as your action. But otherwise, five. Okay. Because of halflingness. Um, okay, so I'm going to move towards the stairs up then. Okay, so you're right behind Steve on the stair. Yeah. Yeah. You get a poke him, like, move faster, you. <laughs> quit quit hanging about, telling Carathlana what she can and cannot wield. Yes. And then, um, well, what, um, what I was going to do is, like, sneak in uh, behind once... Um, you know. If you want to move stealthily from now on, you will have, uh, you'll move at half distance. Okay. If you're going to be sneak sneaky. So I'll, okay. you can move, let's say you can move 15 feet, we'll round up for the purposes of this. You can't move okay. as far when you're being sneaky as if you were not being sneaky. Right, okay. So I'll, uh, I'll go into sneak ready for the next turn then. Okay. Um, here. Yeah, is there any way I can sort of like if if is is the water still coming in? Is it coming in like really strong now? Water is still coming in. You see, like there's probably it's it's maybe ankle deep depending on your height. Can I turn and sort of like pull Carif Cariflana and push push her in front of me? You can certainly like try. You can just drag her in front of you if you want to as your action. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Do an assisted shove and move her 10 feet? Yeah. Okay. I want to get her away from the hole in case of any more tentacles. I could try shutting the door. It and where, Sir, where Shafira and Steve are on the stairs, they are above the water since they're on the stairs. So you're, you're the only two who are you know touching water at this okay. point. There is a lantern and you know the deck of cards on that table there. Right, so can I reach that? You can totally you can grab those if you want to. Right. Well, I don't think I'm bothered about the cards, but I would grab the lantern just in okay. case. I'm having to find the parcel. Oh, there's actually two there. I think that's an accident. There, were, There's not supposed to be two, but there. You have two now. There's also these barrels. Um, and and is a, there anything I can tell? Another door. Yeah, to the side. Um... And you said that's where the, uh, you see, I want to know the Minotaur came out of that, would I? No, you weren't awake. It's just like, oh, it's a door. Okay. Um, but I've used, uh, is, so moving, moving Kerifalana was my action, not my movement, yeah? Right. So can I move to the door and test to see if it's open? Sure. All right, I'll do that. If you want to bang up against it, 
and do an athletics check. Okay. Not my best roll. You heave your shoulder against the door just to test the strength of it, and it does seem to be sturdy, and it's either locked or stuck, but it, there's a little bit of give there. So you don't think it's, you know, whatever the lock is, it doesn't seem to be the sturdiest of locks. Okay. I might just sort of like wave my hand at Shafira and point it as if to say, is there any way you can unlock this? And that would be me done. Steve on the stairs. All right. After making a fool of himself with his divine domain thing. <laughs> Stupid idiot mistake. Anyway, like I play enough clerics, I should know you start with your domain. Durr. Anyway, I was thinking about channel divinity. Um, I'll go up to the top of the stairs and put myself on uh, the the next level map. Let's say it takes five feet of movement to get off of the stairs, and I'm going to put you on the next map, and then you could move yourself to the next what 25 is to feet. The, what is to the left? That's a wall. To the left of you. And in front well, of you is yeah, a door. A... I mean, on the map, is it's masked. I can't yes. see anything. You can't see beyond the mask area because it's technically a wall. It's like a wooden wall partition. Oh, it's, oh bulkhead. Okay. To it, technically, it's your stage right, but your left, if you're from from computer chair, left on your computer chair, stage right. That is a bulkhead that you cannot see through unless you have X-ray vision. Okay. I love all that stage left and all. The correct, all she had to say was, it's a wall. It is there. a wall. Okay. <laughs> there, okay. And in front of you is a door. I'm looking north at this point to combatants. And looking north, um, uh, Justez is having fun with a crewman. And, uh, and there's uh, another crewman who is rifling through some stuff. And now that the two of you are at the top of the stairs, I'm actually going to reveal a little bit more of the map because you should have uh, a few more feet of vision. So whatever that bulkhead is, it does not extend the full length of the ship. Okay, well, um, Golden Hook crew number one, who is currently not engaged with anyone, as, as far as I can tell. And I will say in the distance you see another flight of stairs. I will hold my short sword out, looking like a green-clad person from... A 1990s cartoon, and try and fire an Eldritch blast through my short sword at at Golden Hook crew number one. Unlike before, when you were behind cage doors in the lower hold, you feel the power of the tentacles that lie beneath surge through you, and your Eldritch blast works. It is a hit. And you frazzle, McDazzle, that uh, crew member. They are now unconscious, lying, burnt. I'm assuming Eldritch Blast is a burning sensation that you should get checked by your doctor. <laughs> And rather than bleeding out, he's just basically fried and collapsed in a heap on the plank floor of the main hold. Okay, and then I will move from the top of the stairs to clear it.
Just Des, you're up. Um, well, in the absence of anything better to do, uh, I'm going to eat him. Uh, or try to, anyway. Uh, do. To add insult to injury, that, that crew member... Oh, that, I didn't target him. Sorry. That's cool. The crew member that Steve him. targeted was the one who wasn't paying attention. So you kind yeah. of... He kind of blasted him in the back. But you, you can... Yeah, I know. I've got to talk to him. Um, okay. I had him talk to him. But a uh, 20 so... is definitely a hit with your bite. Uh, yeah, I'll do. I don't do a lot of damage, but there we go. We probably surprised him, though. Yeah, that's an owie. Um, can I cheat? I cannot remember what special type you buy it today. Yeah, I'll use a bonus action as well. Because uh, this is going to be more combats, and so doing this will be beneficial. Sorry, I've got to get to the right action sheet. So I'm going to use my Hungry Jaws action to take another bite of him. All right. Uh, now he's targeted. Please hit. Damn it. And that's used. <laughs> no temporary hit points for me. Yeah, no no short rests and, and whatnot. Yeah. I was hoping right. to be able to knock him out, but there we are. There. Is that for your... That, is that it for That's you? me done, sorry. Um, uh, can I move around him? Yes, you can. As long as you stay adjacent to him, you can move around so him. So I can, I can, I can, I can basically do that. Yes. Okay, I will do that because that puts me next to the other guy who did have a weapon, so I can play around next round, uh, and I'll be be done. All right. Now the guy that you struck, he tries to strike back at you this time. He is successful. Yeah, would we would twenty? He does three damage. Fair enough. Kerathlana, you are up. Okay, I'm hot tailing it out of there. Splash, splash, splash. Well, it's nice to get back in the water, I guess. Uh, three. Puddles around your toesies. Oh. I can get up to the top deck on this. Yeah, you'd be able to move adjacent to Steve. Well, you can't. You need to get. It'll take to uh, five squares to get onto the next deck, and then you'll have one other. Uh, you can move one more square once yep. you get up there. Yep. Thank you. Clear. There's. That's. Okay. All right, Shafira. Um, I'm going to uh, sneak up the stairs onto the next deck and hope nobody sees me coming. Alrighty. Um, do, do you move me, Bonnie? Or yeah, I'm moving I... you to the new map. Okay. You should be able to move another... Wait, one, two, two more squares. Okay. Um... Okay. Am I still unseen? Are you still on? Un unseen. Um, you know, have they noticed me or anything, or do I need to do a check or? No. The um the one crew member that is up here that you can see right now is distracted fighting with Jazdes, so they have not noticed you. Um, then I will end my turn. I will turn him around appropriately. All right, Chimir. Okay, so since everyone has deserted me, um, I as... am also going <laughs> to... Might as well go upstairs with everybody else. Yep, get me up there. And by this time, you see that the foot, the, the water seems to be about a foot deep, and it's getting up to like, um, it's starting to climb the first step. 
Okay. You'll be able to move two more squares once you get to the top. Okay. Does that include diagonally, or can you only move like vertical, horizontal? That includes diagonally, but uh, yeah, it includes diagonally. As long you're not going around a corner, I'll say. Uh, this, that, like that stairs doesn't count as a corner. Yeah. Okay. Um, right, so I can't attack him from there. So there's not a lot I can really do. Is this the deck that we believe our gear is on? Yeah. Okay, so can I see anything that looks like it could be our gear? Or, or are we... Is it, yeah. From what you see, there is the door to the south of you. Right. It's closed. And then there's just Des fighting what appears to be a crew member. And then to the north, there is about uh, maybe 50 feet away, another flight of stairs. Some uh, You see some uh, footlockers that have been knocked about the cabin and some rubble, some rubble like some wood that has fallen from above. Some planks of some sort, like damage to the ship. All right. Okay. Uh, you can't quite see far enough to see what's in the opposite end of the hold yet. Okay. And you can't All see right. around the wall, the bulkhead wall to your left at this point. Steve! All right, well, since everyone came up here and uh, kind of making a little bit of targeting difficult. I'm going to scooch over here a little bit and then uh, put my point my short sword and see if I can shoot uh, shoot uh, golden crew member number two in the back. That's a no. It goes, the, the light goes right to the side of the bulkhead. And there's some smoke. Sorry, it's a, it, it's a calibration issue. It's totally helping matters for a ship that's already being beaten beaten to pieces by tentacle. And that's it. Just ask. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll continue trying to bite the idiot. He is still standing. Yep. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm done. At this point, uh, he disengages from you, Just Ask. And he starts running deeper into the hold. Carathlana. Okay. Can I double move? You can dash if you would like to. Yeah. That will take your action. Uh, yeah, I think we know a bit more of what's going on. So if I dash up, open up what we can see, shout back what what's going on. Do things because they have more knowledge. Pan. Is that okay? You can right. move two more, even. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling sleepy. Okay. Oh, a hammock. Two hammocks. That's like one. Okay. I'll move up. Okay, um, uh, well, I just, 
<laughs> the map moved as I was unmasking, so there's a little a little tease. Okay, Shafira. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I guess I come out of sneak since um, that one guy ran all the way up there. Uh, and move up the deck. Four, I think, yeah. You can move one more. Okay. Is that five now? I think you've only moved four. Oh. Yeah. And that's a body, that other dude who's there. That's his body. Ooh. Shall I loot the body? You could loot the body. Um, yeah. let's see what he has. <laughs> uh, it's another cutlass and another suit of leather, but this one's slightly smaller than the half-orc leather. Ah, yeah, that might fit better. Yeah, it fits slightly better. It's still not halfling size, but it fits slightly better than the half orc, which kind of drowned you. Yeah. Not to use a poor turn of phrase for the situation. <laughs> All right, so I can't use cutlass. So I'll put. Leather back, that one in there. So we just we just assume yeah. that it's better, yeah. Okay. It's just it's like a size smaller. Bear in mind it can take up to a minute to put armor on, so it's not something you're gonna be doffing while we're running around at the moment. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. Not as bad as heavy armor. We'd be here for ten minutes with heavy armor. <laughs> yeah, okay, I think that's it. Um, there's not a lot I can really do. I can't reach anyone. Um one, two, three, four, five, six. Um if can I do a dash as well, or is that something specific for certain races? No, you, anyone can dash as their action. So if I move six to one, two, three, four, five, six, can I? If I did a dash, that's half again, is it? Uh, twice. No, no. You, you can double your movement with a dash. You don't want to move next to the guy if you want to do further movement because he'll swing at you. Uh, so don't pa don't go don't go past him or don't stop next to him. Don't don't go within five foot of him. Oh, that buggers out of me. Well, no, you can just move five foot to the side. The same amount of movement. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. It, do, yeah. it it's not going to trigger this combat because it's assumed you you skirted round him if you are trying to leg it up the the up right. The route, so if so. I went one, two, three, four, five, so like there. Would that? Work? Yeah. So yeah. you can easily run that far. And let me reveal some more stuff. You can see that there's another door at the opposite end of the hold. And you can tell that this grate is the grate that was above where you were and the hold below. Is the grate above us actually going on to deck yet, or is there still another level of this ship? Um, there's another level okay. above, but through if you peer up at the stairs... Actually, you weren't there yet. No. 
and near the stairs there is another uh, grate in the ceiling of this level. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to say that's the end of my turn, so... Alright, Steve! Steve! Alright, I'm gonna go... Scooch, uh, well, actually, hold on. Let me recant that. Four. Five. Six. Make sure I got clear line of sight and blast him in the back. Son of a ten oh, is no. Excuse wide almost hits Carathlana. Sorry. That's all I got. All right, just des. Okay, so one, two. I'm gonna go wide over here so I can actually look round behind me before I jump the guys running away. All right, at that point you see. Uh... I just want to check that the storeroom's not. It's a that kitchen area. area. All right. And there's food That's fine. knocked about. You see, there's a cleaver on the floor. There's a ham. And a bunch of different bottles. Oh, I didn't mean to... Some have some broken glass. Yeah. Yeah, I just run at him and attack him again. Ooh, the cleaver. Did that trigger? No. Why didn't that trigger? Right, 14's a hit. I believe you got him. He is now unconscious and bleeding on the floor. Is he also using a cutlass? He is also using a cutlass. You're not allowed to skin him. No, I just want one of them to be carrying a knife or a dagger. Or... A cutlass is apparently a standard issue. They're sailors. They should have daggers um, as well. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I know, but I, there's no guarantee I can use a meat cleaver either. Um, it's fine. Uh, I'm done for my action. Um, I'm just going to head up the boat as fast as I can once we get round. Yeah, sorry. No. So there's still no close stuff. It's not in the kitchen. Um, uh, yeah, but... There'll uh, be a second... If, the, if it's a standard ship, second hold at front off crew quarters. So that door would logical be stuff hold. Okay. Well, the bosun did say that our stuff was on the deck immediately above us. Yeah. Yeah. And there's okay. a door to the south of you and a door to the north of you. Well, the door to... The... Oh, that door. Um, yeah, that could be more of a problem. Um, that's usually kept... No, that... We're, we're, we're still... We're on the waterline now, so there's another, another. Well, we might actually still be below the waterline. There, there, there'll be another layer. The captain will be on top deck surface with windows and nonsense like that. We're we're still on crew quarters. Um, the next, if there's another level above, that'll be first mate and main crew. Um, they, 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 this, they, this, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm making. He knows way time. too much about ships. Are you excited? Getting excited about the things that are to come. Um, yeah. Oh dear. So, so check, check front, check back. I said I can't say which one's the 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 the, the hold. So, okay. Um, well, I've called the uh, the small hold where they put the small items and and pantry and and stores. Okay, so I can double move again. Yeah. Well. So I'm intending to work out what's on the other side of that door, probably. Uh, GM. Yes. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to cut a uh, cut dude off and then. Go for it, okay. Um, are each of these uh, little rectangular things that that looks like they're near next to Justice? Are, are these uh, Those are foot, foot lockers? lockers? Yes, cruise foot lockers. Oh, it's my turn. Um, right, I'm gonna move. To there. Can I have a look inside the locker that I'm by? Yes. Oh, she sounded all breathless when she said that. <laughs> is it locked? No, it is not locked. You're going to keep us in suspense. Uh... <laughs> I was like, where, where did I link that crap? Oh. <laughs> okay. So, you're going to be disappointed to find that there there's more cutlasses and leather and stuff, but <laughs> you find a bottle of rum. Uh -huh. Oh! oh. <laughs> can I take the rum? Oh, you can totally take the rum. Tough. By all means. Oh, can we take all the other stuff and then sell it? Oh, um, yeah, if you can get it off the else. ship, yeah. Mm. Um, that's a bracing. That's a mast. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's the person who's done the map, doesn't know ships. <laughs> Chimere. Yeah. I am also going to check out the Foot Locker. You find another bottle of rum. I'm sensing a theme here. Okay, I will take the rum. Might be good for swabbing wounds. Um, and that's me. Steve? All right, so... Um... Uh, am, am I correct reading this correctly? That the stairs are basically the stairs up are basically uh, ten feet up, uh, north of uh, Shafira's present location. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Well, everyone's pretty much got the foot lockers covered. I thought that were a pallet. Yeah, I did as well. Yeah, Me those too. are supposed to be stairs. <laughs> Yeah, the one on the deck below looked like a pallet too, but uh, uh good call. Yeah, they don't really have well to them. All right, since that's pretty well well covered, uh, I guess I will just uh, head to the bottom of the stairs. I don't suppose I could get to the, the the foot locker to the northwest of me with a dash and loot it at the same time. So no. Oh, but I could then. Okay, well I'll dash to it. You could dash to it, yeah. And then loot it next time. And okay, so that's it. And if you look down through the grate, you see that it's the hold that you were in, and there is a depth of water now swishing below are there tentacles visible not at the moment around? but you can see that a lot more water several more feet of water have climbed have have seeped into 
the lower hold. Okay. Oops. Um, I'm actually going to go back. At this point, the door to the north by Carathlana flies open and three more crew appear. And the first one takes a swing at Carathlana. Misses. And then another one takes a swing at her. And also misses. You see that they're pretty weighted down with stuff. In fact, you think, some of you think you recognize some of this stuff. Somebody has one of your packs. Chimere, you see Thanks. one of them has your bag of glitter. Oh, Get off okay. my damn glitter. <laughs> You're really sad they missed you, aren't you? Yeah, and then the <laughs> one in the doorway is uh, not going to do anything. Because they can't see you guys yet. Just us. That's half. Uh, two, four, six. Oh, there, technically. Actually, no, I, I'm going to be there. That was fine. That's me done. Well, if he's going to steal my. It would be quite rude if I left. Save my glitter. I, I, I will. Yay! I, I am going to bless. <laughs> Have... yeah, he's going to get a cut, listen. Okay, can I step round so I'm in between all of them without getting a text? You are not small enough, I think, to, to step through them. You could, I guess you could use your movement. Wait. Um, you could step around number four. And end up here. Yeah. Door still open? Yeah, the door is open. Yeah, talk to more. <laughs> okay. Cleave, um, great cleave. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's not it's not a um, cutlass. The one who is number three might be blocked from attack by the wall, by the bulkhead there. Ah, uh, the wall's not going to be there long. <laughs> okay. I can see what she's doing. What is um, she doing? She's That's she's exploding. <laughs> she carries thunder wave as a spell. <laughs> oh, she, uh, did you just cast a thunder wave? I did. I think you have to roll them on each of them. Though, okay, okay. It, 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 yeah. It's a say. They just need a saving throw, and so they've all made their saves. No, they haven't. Well, they haven't made their saves. Oh, yeah. but, well, yeah, they all if they rolled the eighteen, then they all saved. So that is that. They don't get pushed. No, 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 no. That's that's her saving for herself. The only person, the only Golden Cook Hook Crew three is the only one who made his saving throw on the offensive side. Both uh, four and five failed. Right. Oh, I missed okay. I missed her rolling up there. Yeah, because you've targeted yourself. You shouldn't have targeted yourself. You don't. Ah. You don't. You don't get affected by this. Okay, yeah. You are the so source of saved. evil energy. Okay. 
Right. So uh, you just roll your your damage. Okay. Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, that hurt. It did. You see, at, at level two, I could channel divinity and then maximize the damage. But uh. What? Did... <laughs> oh my god! You rolled two ones. Yeah. I totally did. Aww. Although, uh, you have to remove that one hit point for yourself. Yep. And four and five are the ones, they get pushed back ten feet. Those are the ones that didn't save, right? Yeah. E yes. So they get pushed next to Jaws' Des. Hey, look. Within biting range. How do I negate that? I don't know. Go to your actual main sheet. And yeah, I took it off. Oh, okay. Thank you, lovely. Yeah, yeah, you would just... Don't target you, yourself. You would just... <laughs> yeah, you would just correct your wounds. Your wounds damage on your main sheet. Okay. Right. Uh, done. Take that. Okay, Shafira? Mm. Yes. Uh, sorry, slight map issue. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to go up the stairs for a look. If I can. Yes, you can. Uh, what do I see? When you peer up on the main deck, roll a perception check. I will say with your uh, passive perception. Okay, with your <laughs> with your passive perception, you see at the moment you see uh, two other crew members running around on the deck. They're trying. Uh, there's two. Um, skiff like or um, jelly boats that are um, upside down for storage for uh, you know, emergencies um, emergencies are going ashore and they're trying to turn one over to flee the ship and uh, you see that it has some kind of apparatus attached to it that uh, is like a method in a bell jar A but in the building. yeah, but otherwise you just hear a, ca a cacophony of noises. But those are the only people that you see running around at the moment. Okay. There is damage to one of the masts. There's a lot of uh, lumber and wreckage that's fallen on the deck. But that's all you can tell. Okay. I think my turn over. Oh dear, the elder octopus is on the chart. Yeah, I know. I saw that earlier and thought, what? All right. The elder octopus strikes the ship again. Everybody do a deck save. What the hell? So, there are some prone people now. This includes both of the uh, crew members. Chimere. Shafira.
they're all prone. And if you, uh, I think that might be a place where we can pause for next week. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tentacle hit the ship again. Another cracking sound. And almost half of you, plus all those crew members that you're currently fighting, have been knocked to the floorboards. And when we start up next time, it will be Chimere's turn. Yay. Wee. <laughs> so I was kind of hoping you guys would at least find your stuff and uh, maybe get to the uh, top deck before uh, the two hours were up. But that took a little mm. bit longer than I expected. Which is that strange, because you guys actually got out of your restraints faster than I'd hoped for, so... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and un unfortunately, all the other people who were down in the hold with you rolled very poorly and got swept away. But that's what happens when I roll for people. But at least you got rum! Yeah, that's the important bit. So, a whole bunch of cutlasses you can't use, leather armor that's too big, and rum. That sounds One out of three ain't bad. And you, you've got eyes on the guy who has your pouch of glitter. Oh, I'm going for him. Alrighty. Okay then. Well, that's it that for today. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. It's good. Well, I was sorry, awesome. I kind of was hoping you guys would have all your stuff back before we were done. Yeah, that's all right. We're we're about thirty foot away from achieving that. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> you kind of have some sign that oh, your stuff is probably in this room because there's some guys holding some of your stuff who just came out of it. That'd be a clue, wouldn't it? A yeah. Well, wh whoever's, whoever's, uh, yeah. The basic ship design is following standard layout, so, so, so I've got a, a good idea where the where where things other than rum will be as well. Ooh. Well, it'll be in offshoot off the captain's cabin, so it'll be on top deck. <laughs> Not, but I'm planning on detouring to the captain's cabin for any. Yeah, you liar. <laughs> Well, if the if the boat's still up, if the boat's down, it's not going to affect you, is it? No. <laughs> no. I don't need the jolly boat. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you well, can you can go fine. without breathing underwater for fifteen minutes plus your con. Yeah. And, and honestly, I swim faster than a jolly boat does, unless it's a really good breeze. So. <laughs> Carathlana's perfectly fine. Yeah. And due to the weird weird nature of the marine thing is just like, yep, 16 hours swimming, not a problem. Can we attach some sort of rope to you so everybody else can keep up? Yeah, I don't is know. Is this going to be uh, a form of improvised water skiing? I was just going to say, there's all them planks of wood everywhere. They would work really well. <gasps> We're going to jump the shark. Yeah! No. Ooh. <laughs> We're not meeting with shark friends yet. Are oh, these shark infested waters? Hmm. Well, they're currently kraken infested. Well, giant elder giant octopus, octopus infested waters, which means there's well, probably a low know. shark density, uh, which is a sadness. Anyway, I've got to do hit that button, that button, uh, exit the program. Right. Anyway, thank you for running. Thank uh, you, guys. Over. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah. See you thank next you. week. See ya. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye bye. bye. Have a good week, everyone. Bye bye. You, you too. too. Sucky, bye bye. Bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. Bye, Steve.